Hi Ark fans, welcome to Ark Invest Daily, your daily dose of Ark information. Today we will be focusing on the insider trades for Ark portfolio. We will be featuring these companies and actually many more. There are some buys as well. On some weeks there are no buys. There are only sells, insider sells, but this time there are buys. So stay with me to find out more about that. Please like and subscribe. That is a free way to show support to the channel. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. Thank you so much. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is the these are the two charts that we go over for insider trading, um, only for our portfolio companies. There are three companies uh, that show up under buys this time and sells as usual has a lot of companies. Uh, the date range that we have selected is past two weeks because last week we did not do a insider episode because I was out. Um, so today we are doing covering two weeks. So these are the three companies uh, that show up in buys: Vertex, Dupont, and Caterpillar. So let's go over that quickly first because buys are much stronger signal than sells. Sells uh, people sell for uh, various personal reasons. So I try not to read too much into it, but buy definitely is a strong signal. Um, so this is Vertex uh, Therapeutics. You have Shas Bruce, one of their board of directors buying 3 million worth of shares. Um, DD, which is DuPont, world's largest uh, chemical company. Uh, Kisam Luther, one of the board of directors, less than a million, uh, but still 0.38, uh, so 380 thousand dollars he has invested back in its own his own company caterpillar again a company that uh designs and manufactures big machines and uh engines and 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 sells them through a worldwide network of uh, dealers they also sell insurance actually um so all these three are present in our portfolio we have never featured them so we will look at the art portfolio also for these three in a quick um in a quick snapshot in a bit so one of the board of directors buying hundred thousand dollar worth of shares in that so these are the three uh, companies that pop up for buys in sales google is stopping the charts um as you can see uh, sundar pichai selling some um larry page selling some matter and to o'toole emmy tuner uh, so these are their um these are their um you also see the designation so one ceo vp accounting officer board of director etc so well mainly attributed to larry page he has sold a lot and uh, yeah so that's uh, google topping the charts in terms of selling shares um insiders uh, selling shares facebook number two this time um mark zuckerberg again continues to sell more and more jennifer newstead um also selling a little bit you have snapchat cto ceo and gc um general counsel i think all those three selling a lot of shares there uh, Nvidia, uh, you have uh, the president and CEO selling some, and uh, Zoom, a lot of people, CEO, CFO, director, CEO selling a lot of shares there. CEO being the main one, 72 million there. Next is uh, CRWD, COO, president of global sales, and Henry Sean selling a lot of uh, in a lot of stock, uh, mainly president and president of global sales there, 67 million. CRM Salesforce, a lot of people insider selling that as well. You have uh, DraftKing, um, so yeah, that's interesting. DraftKing, a lot of people in past two weeks have sold a lot of shares. McKinsey Shalom being the biggest one, 32 million worth of shares sold there. Palantir, as always, it always pops up. Alexander Karp, Karp the CEO, he keeps selling um, on weekly and uh, bi-weekly basis quite a bit. People say he's selling because uh, he has to take care of the taxes, um, so that's why he sells. Um, so it is 22, 42 million this time. Region Iran, um, so 32 million there. Insider sell those. TMO, um, we have uh, three people selling there. U, ticker symbol U, 24.4 million. Tesla also, a couple of people selling there. Okta, then LHX. Snowflake, DocuSign, ALGN, SI, uh, Intuitive Surgical, XLNX, NTLA, UPS, PayPal, EXAS, these are all the ticker symbols, Pinterest, Square, BMY, SYNH, Iridium, BTC, AMD, Twitter also, but just a bit. Well, you always uh, try not to read too much into it. 
Apple. Apple is not in Arc's portfolio anymore, but it used to be. And there is a long list, as you can see, um, from Teladoc all the way to DDD, which is a 3D printing company. I'm trying to see if there is anything, any other companies which people follow quite a bit. There is Amazon, 1 million watts sold there. Fastly, which was part of uh, Arc portfolio, not anymore. They got rid of it. Rockwell Automation. So yeah, those are the cells. Um, so let's take a look at these three actually in our portfolio. Since uh, there are buys, buys is a stronger, much stronger signal than sells. Sells people sell because of personal reasons, but when they buy, they buy for uh, only one reason. That is, uh, they know something about the company. They know that something good is coming in future. So let's take a look at uh, the spotlight charts. Remember the spotlight charts people who have been following this channel we look at these charts uh, one company at a time but now we are looking at those three companies for which we have insider buys so caterpillar dupont and vertex those are the three companies these are this is the share count trend uh, number of share in terms of number of shares they have most uh, shares of vertex pharmaceuticals followed by caterpillar followed by dupont um, stock price trend is similar there um, caterpillar rising above vertex <laughs> it's not fair to compare obviously number of shares and stock price it's better to just see how much uh, they are invested in these three companies they are most invested in vertex pharmaceuticals um, 0.37 billion second highest they are in, invested in caterpillar and then third one is dupont very less uh, dupont is the biggest uh, chemical uh, company in the world and Caterpillar is a company that designs and manufactures uh, big machines and engines and sells them through their worldwide network. They also sell insurance. <laughs> and then Vertex Pharmaceutical has is a very unique biochemical uh, company it's based out of Boston. Um, some breakthrough research work that they have done in the past as well. So these are the three. Let's take a look at this chart, which is rankings chart um of whether they have been falling through the ranks or um, rising through the ranks of 287 companies that arc is invested in uh, so let's hover over click on cat one yeah and looks like it's pretty stable in terms of ranking when since the time i've been recording data it's it was 102 there um market as you know in general went down quite a bit but uh, it kept it, it uh, held its value looks like Let's see whether it held its value because they bought more shares. No, actually they reduced shares, but the stock price went up. And uh, so this is this is great. It's opposite of market looks like because market went down, but its stock price went up. Look at that. Everything went down in uh, mid-February, March, April, but this one went up. Crazy, isn't it? So they sold shares, but at the same time, they maintained the ranking of this company um, in their stock, in their um, portfolio next is dd dupont let's see oh very towards the low end of their um investment looks like tail end there starting with 250 ending in 281 rank won't go deeper into that it's a world's biggest chemical company let's see vertex whoop that is something that they have a lot more confidence in looks like um yeah it's been maintaining its ranking um started with 39 rank when since the time i've been recording data went up the maximum all the way up to 32 oh well actually 30 as well 29 more recently so it has risen through the rank a little bit actually so that's vertex they have uh, been uh, reducing increasing reducing increasing the number of shares in this company stock price has held its value even during the turbulent times more recently it has gone down but uh, then it came back up uh, so looks like very stable company uh, like caterpillar was caterpillar is actually doing good even in troubling times of market. So um, yeah, those are the three companies that we wanted to feature today, which were also insider buys, uh, as you can see here. So uh, very stable companies and a lot of insiders buying happening on these as well. So definitely a positive signal. Um, and we've covered the sales as well. So yeah, that was your daily dose, guys. Please like and subscribe so I can keep bringing this awesome content to you. And uh, it helps me with YouTube algorithms as well. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.